No, the starters will just chase qualifiers next in. Absolutely the same qualifications. 0 to 120. Two moles and three furlongs. King of points at the top, Darren Thompson. Operation Bluebell. Graham Clutterbuck, Dante Martin, Liam Trop Sounder, Daniel French, E Commerce, Leon Van Rensburg, High Admiral, Paul Rhodes, and Lemons Mill for Craig Bickwith. So just seven of them then in this final race of the week for me. Leon will be taking you through the Hunters next, and away we go. And short run to the first, which they're all safely over. And Dante just about the first to show King of Points and E Commerce as they get to the first ditch. And they're all over that one, okay. So a different, different, different difference in field size between the chase qualifier and the hurdle qualifier this week. I presume that's mainly down to the fact that we've got those 0 to 110 or 0 to 115 or whatever they are now. Hunter Chase is coming up next, whereas all of the hurdlers have got to go to that 0 to 120 starters. All is probably the lowest rated hurdle race this week. There may have been another one. Leon commented on, but I'm not 100% sure. I know there was one a couple of weeks ago, which was something like 0 to 90 or something. But there's not that many opportunities for low rated hurdlers, so maybe some of those hunter chases have to be turned into a conditional riders hurdle series next season or something. And it's e commerce is in the lead from Trop Sounder in second, and Dante in third as they get to the fourth. And e commerce has set off in a bit of a hurry. He's about six lengths clear at the end of the fifth. And I'm safely over that one. I've seen too many Leon Van Rensburg horses in these starters orders qualifiers when they're as lowly rated as this, but I mean, the thing about SO7, it's even some of the top trainers have got one or two really low grade horses just don't seem to be cutting it in the league, which didn't used to happen really in SO6. They were all good, but it's not as good see the uh, not the, but the top trainers don't all, always get it right and the, some of their horses can be as bad as the rest of us is but it's e-commerce in front Ron Trops out in second Dante in third then High Admiral fourth Lemons Middle Operation Bluebell and finally King of Points the top weight at the back as they take the sixth which they're all safely over Course is leading down to four now. Gets over the seventh. He drops down to second as they get to the eighth, and we lose them behind the trees a little bit. It's e commerce in front. You can see now why it's called Leafy Lingfield, got you? It's e commerce in the lead, hopefully, the Cameraman will make sure we don't get that happening too much, too much more. And it's e-commerce in front from Trops out a second, Dante third, Operation Bluebell fourth in Lemons Mill. King of points and High Admiral going through the trees again. There's a four at the back there, High Admiral's gone. So High Admiral departs the race as they get down to this next ditch. And they're all safely over that one with e-commerce continuing to lead. King of Points has moved through in a second, Trop Sander is third, Dante fourth, then Operation Bluebell, and finally Lemons Mill. They're racing on down towards the final four furlongs of this race, then there. Um, e Commerce is in the lead by two. Three more fences to take in the straight. And it's E Commerce who's been in the lead all the way, still two clear. Of King of Points in second, Trop Sander is third, then Operation Bluebell is in fourth, Dante switches to the outside in fifth, Lemons Mill the back marker as they get to the third last and over that one a really good jump by the leader and he's still too clear but now Operation Bluebell gets into overdrive, Trop Sander still there, Dante starts to run on over the second last they go, good jump there by King of Points as well as suddenly e-commerce has got company and e-commerce has got a lot of company as Dante sweeps through to take it up, jumps over the final fence and suddenly power's clear and Dante so he suddenly put three or four lengths between himself and the rest of them. A pretty impressive performance this one. And racing away with it now. Up towards the line. Dante is going to take this by probably eight lengths. And it's a pretty clear cut victory. Which didn't look on the cards before. Dante takes it. Lemons Mill second. Then drops down to e-commerce operation. Blue well after that. And if you'd have said somebody was going to win that by eight lengths coming into the final fence. Most people would have thought you were talking out of the top of your hat. Because it looked like we were on for a... Ding dong close finish, but one good jump by Dante, and suddenly 
on that flat race speed that he's got took him away from the rest of them so Dante takes it for Martin Lidham Lemons Mill for Craig Beckwith was second e-commerce for Leon Van Resburg was third Trops and Daniel French was fourth and Operation Bluebell for Graham Clitterbuck was fifth I'll hand you over to Leon now he's going to do the Hunter Chases and I'll be back next week